Well, greetings, boys and girls. It's awfully good to be back with y'all today. Good to see you. I'm glad y'all are all here, and uh, I hope I hope y'all are all here. Let me get. I got me some. I got me a new. Uh, I got me a new looking glass. Has a different light. See the lights at the bottom, but I can still see through there. So let's see. Let's see who's here first of all. All right, there's uh, there's Freddy. And is is that Ethan? Yeah, and Christian, and Josh, Rehan, and Ramy, John, uh, Libby, yay, Rochin, Caleb, and Tilly. Woo! It's good to see y'all. I am glad that y'all are here, and I missed y'all last week. I'll tell you what. It was a nice week to be gone and take a week off, but I still missed you, and I'm glad you're back. I'm glad to be back with you. Got a couple of books here today that I thought we might read, and this first one is from Toy Story. How many of y'all like Toy Story? I do. I like Toy Story. Who's your favorite person in Toy Story? I like Woody, and I like Buzz, and I like Mr. Potato Head. I like them all. That's ah, a great thing there. I like Toy Story and Cars, and they just have a lot of neat stuff on there. Hey, let's look at this. This book is Toy Story 3. I get that light to quit shining on there. There we go. And it's called Starry Night. Now, let's see what this book's got to say. Guess what? Bonnie looked excitingly at her toys one afternoon. We're doing something really special tonight. The toys were carefully arranged on top of Bonnie's bed. They couldn't wait to find out what the special something was. But they stayed motionless. The little girl clapped her hands. We're going on an adventure. Oh, right. She's going to take them on an adventure. I like adventures. They're going on an adventure. Let me get this light going up here so I can see a little bit better there. Can y'all see that all right? Libby, can you see that? All right, good. The toys wondered what type of adventure was in store for them. And we'll all get to go, Bonnie said. As she gathered up the new toys her friend Andy had given to her. She carefully placed Woody, Buzz Lightyear, Slinky Dog, and all the pals in a big canvas tote bag. Next, she collected all of her beloved old toys. Buttercup, the unicorn, and uh, Trixie, the triceratops and Hedgehog called Mr. Pricklepants. A, do a rag doll named Dolly came too. We're gonna have so much fun, Bonnie told them. Woo, they're gonna have a big time. Now, I don't know what they're gonna do, but she's getting ready to head out with all these toys. She's fixing to leave. They're going somewhere. Wonder where they're going. Maybe they're going out in the backyard. I don't know. Bonnie ran off to find a flashlight. Uh-oh, wait a minute. If you need a flashlight, that means it might be dark. Maybe they're going in a cave. Or, hey, maybe they're going outside at night. <clears throat> Once she left, all the toys suddenly came to life. I hope there aren't any scary animals out there, Rex the dinosaur whispered. I'll protect you, Woody the cowboy said with a wink. Maybe we're going to explore the attic, Trix Trixie guessed. Buzz the Space Ranger nodded eagerly. Every toy should get to know their surroundings. Then the toys heard the sound of footsteps, and they quickly stopped moving. We're camping out, Bonnie announced. Happily as she came into the room, and she scooped up the toys. Ha <laughs> ha! They're, they're going to they're gonna go camp out. A few minutes later, Bonnie and her toys were in her very own backyard. Here we are, she said. Bonnie carefully unpacked the toys and began to arrange them inside a tent she had set up. You sit next to Trixie, she told Rex. 
placing the two dinosaurs side by side. Buttercup, Woody, and Buzz, you guys will be next to my sleeping bag. Soon everyone had a place on the floor. On the floor of the tent, they're all there, and they're having a great time. Now let's have a picnic. Bonnie reached for a plastic bin and began passing out food and toy, uh, toy food and toy plates. Corn for Buttercup, pepperoni pizza for Rex, spaghetti for Bullseye. Bonnie, dinner time, a voice called out. It was Bonnie's mother. Bonnie giggled. I've got to go eat my dinner, but don't worry, I'll be back soon. Then we'll have lots more fun. She gave each toy a hug and then crawled out of the tent. She crawled out of the tent and went back into the house to eat while she was gone. Left alone in the tent, the toys began to explore. This is right comfortable spot, Jessie said, admiring Bonnie's puffy sleeping bag. Yes, the accommodations are quite satisfactory. Mr. Pricklepants agreed. Well, shine my spurs, Woody exclaimed, noticing an electric camping lantern. He turned it on and the warm glow lit up the tent. He motioned for the toys to gather in a circle. They're getting them all together and they're having a great time while Bonnie's gone and they're out there and they're having a big time. Let's have a sing-along, Woody said. He held, his, let me get this thing here going here so it doesn't shine so much on there. Got to figure out where to put that so that it doesn't shine a whole lot so you can see it. Uh, da -da -da -da. Da -da. Is that better? Where is that coming from? Oh, it's coming from over there. There's a light over there. Well, I can't get up and turn it off, so we just have to do it this way. Let's have a sing-along, Woody suggested. He held his cowboy hat uh, over his heart and begin to sing Camp Town Races. He was singing the Camp Town Races and Jesse quickly joined in. Bullseye, uh, he, let's see, I mean, the hole is right there, there you go, right there, there we go. Bullseye uh, stomped his hooves in time to the beat. After a moment, the other toys begin singing. At the end of the song, everyone wanted to do another. Can we sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm? Hmm, Ham the Piggy Bank wanted to know. Made him feel at home. Sure thing, Jesse said. We're going to turn it around this way, and maybe we'll do better this way. Uh-oh, here we go. After a few minutes and a few more songs, the toys decided to head outside. They still had some time before Bonnie got back from eating her dinner and they wanted to explore the backyard. Mr. Potato Head peeked through the tent flaps. It had gotten dark. The coast is clear. The toys filed out into the backyard. They're going out into the backyard to make sure that everything is okay and they're gonna go out there and have fun in the backyard. Even though Bonnie's not there, they're gonna go. Look! Buttercup said, the stars are coming out. Buzz smiled. That, my friend, is the Big Dipper. Seven stars that form a ladle shape. He pointed toward the constellation. You sure know a lot about the sky, Trixie said, impressed. Buzz grinned. Come, uh, comes with the Space Ranger territory. I just saw a shooting star, Mr. Potato Head shouted. I think that was a firefly, Ham said. I wasn't sure what it was. <laughs> there they are. They're all playing around in the backyard. They're all the toys are having a big time. Do you think your toys play when you're gone? I don't know about that. Sometimes they might do that. I'm not sure. Jesse hopped on bullseye. I'm going to explore the yard, she shouted. Buttercup. Trot it over. Follow me. I'll show you the rose bed near the sprinklers. Trixie turned to the other toys. Who wants to play freeze tag? But before anyone could answer, she tapped Rex with her horn. Tag, you're frozen. Uh-oh. 
smiling. The rest of the toys began running away as Chixie, Trixie chased after them. The flower bed is out of bounds, she shouted. Hey, someone, tag me. Rex called, still frozen. Somebody needed to go and tag Rex so that he could run away. I'm wiped out, Ham said after a little while. How about a theatrical shadow puppet production, suggested Mr. Pricklepants. Good idea, Woody said, leaving all the toys inside the tent. Bonnie is going to be back soon. He's taking them back inside. The toys used Bonnie's flashlight to create shadow puppets on the tent wall. Look what they're doing. They're using the flashlight and they're, and they're making, look at that. What is that? It looks like a dinosaur. I'm not sure. The toys used Bonnie's flashlight to create shadow puppets on the tent wall. Buzz made an airplane with his wings. Mr. Pricklepants made an elephant. That's what that is. That's an elephant. I should have known that. I'll bet you already knew that, didn't you? Here they were having a great time. Uh-oh. Let my cuckoo clock go off. Rex peeked outside the tent window. Boy, it sure is dark out there. It sure got dark fast, he remarked. Then Dolly made a a pair of bunny ears behind his head, and everybody laughed, even Rex. <laughs> Look, they made bunny ears behind his head, and he looks like a big bunny rabbit. Here they are having a big time. Oh, a sleepover wouldn't be complete without a scary story, Mr. Potato Head said. He clicked off the flashlight so the toys would be in the dark. Once there was a little toy who got lost in the forest. The toy was very, very afraid because the forest was very, very dark. Just like now, Rex exclaimed, beginning to get scared. Suddenly there were footsteps, Mr. Potato Head said. The toys heard the sound of someone running. Like now, Jesse said with a grasp, with a gasp. Mr. Potato Head continued the story. A monster is coming. Ah! Rex shouted. He hollered, and a huge shadow loomed over the tent. All the toys flopped over and went still. The tent flap opened. I'm back, Bonnie said, smiling at her toys. She brought the toys outside and placed them in a circle around the lantern. She gave each one a marshmallow on a twig. It wouldn't be the best camp out ever if we didn't toast marshmallows, she announced happily. The toys couldn't have agreed more, and Rex was especially glad that there wasn't a real monster out there after all. <laughs> they had a great time. And you know what? That story reminds me that the weather is getting nice, and when the weather gets nice, the grass begins to grow, and all the trees grow, and, and you can go outside at night, and there's fireflies outside, but you know what? That also means there's no school. Now, I know y'all don't like being out of school, but I'll miss you. Maybe I'll see you next year. What do you think? I don't know. Let's do one more. You want two? <laughs> all right. Now, y'all did real good with Dr. Seuss's ABC book, and I want you to do real good with this one, too, so I want you to help me, okay? All right? We're going to do our ABCs, and I want you to just holler out just A and B and C and D. I want you to help me out, okay? Because y'all did real good the last time. You ready? You know what I forgot? Hang on just a minute. Hang on, I'll be right back. I'm back. I forgot my Grinch hat. <laughs> hey, I need y'all to hit me with the ABCs, okay? Can you do that? All right, here we go. The little golden book of ABCs. Here we go. What is this letter? It is A. Airplane. Apple. Alligator. Auto. And uh, what is that bug right there? That bug is an ant. Very 
Very good. Let's do the next letter. Let's see. There's A, and the next letter is B. We got a B here. All right. B. B. A big B and a little B and a cursive B. B, B, B. Ball. Boy. Butterfly. B. And a bear in a boat. Very good. Y'all did very good. I am impressed. 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 I am impressed. C. A. B. C. You ready? C. Here we go. C. Big C. Little C. Cursive C. There is a clown and a cowboy and a, what is that? That's a camel and a cow and a chair, and a cock, and a cat. All of those start with a C. Very good. <laughs> we got it going here now. Okay, all right, help me out now. You ready? All right, there's A, B, C. And that's right, D. A big D, little D, cursive D, and duck starts with D, and donkey starts with D, and drum starts with D, and deer starts with D, and doll starts with D. And if you have a doll house, that starts with D too. Now that donkey has a drum, and drum starts with D. And what is that right there? That's right, it's a dog, and dog starts with D. All right, let's see now. Oh, we got A, B, C, D, E. That's right, E. Eggs, Eskimo, and elephant. Boy, that's a big old elephant, isn't it? And all of those start with uh, e, big E, little E, cursive E. All right, what's the next letter? E, F. That's right, F. We love F because F starts with fire engine. Big F, little F, cursive F, fire engine, fork, fireman, farmer, flower. What is that? Ribbit, ribbit. That's a frog, and a fish, and a fox. That's right. Boy, these books are informative. I want you to know they're good, all right? Now, the next letter is a G. Big G, little G, cursive G. What is that big thing right there? That is a giraffe, and giraffe starts with G. Giraffe. Gingerbread man, a goat, a girl, and a goose. Wow, all that stuff starts with a G. Okay, now we've got A, B, help me out, C, D, E, F, G, uh, H. Very good, H, big H, little H, cursive H. There's a hat that starts with an H, and a horse that starts with an H, and a house that starts with an H. How many of y'all live in a house? We all live in a house. Sometimes it's an apartment house, sometimes it's a trailer house, and sometimes it's a house house, but we all live in a house. We don't live in a cave. We don't live in a garbage can. We live in a house. That's right. Okay. Now, let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H, I. There it is. A, I. Big I. Little I. Cursive I. What starts with I? I'm going to tell you what starts with I is one of my favorite things, and that is ice cream. 
How many of y'all like ice cream? We like ice cream. Hey, ice cream, Indian, iceberg. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, we're combining two. I guess a better look. Okay, here we go. There's an Indian and an ice cream and iceberg. All right, what's the next letter? J, big J, little J, cursive J. What starts with the J? Well, there's jam and there's a jar and there's a juggler. He's throwing that stuff up and catching it. There's a jack-in-the-box and there's a jack-o'-lantern and all that starts with J. What's the next letter? Help me out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. That's right, K. Big K, little K, cursive K. It's a kite, and there's a knife, and there's a kitten, and there's a key. You got all that stuff that starts with a K. All right, let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You know, I forgot to tell you, but Grinch starts with a G, right? <laughs> he does. A, B, help me out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Big L, little L, cursive L. What starts with a L? Well, there's a lollipop that starts with a L, and a lamp that starts with a L, and a lion rawr, that starts with an L. <laughs> we got a lot of letters that start, or a lot of words that start with the letter L, don't we? All right. The next letter is M, L, M. Big M, little M, cursive M. Mittens. We have to wear mittens in the cold weather. I'm glad it's warming up. Mittens and milk and a monkey and a mouse. All of those start with an M. And the next letter is a little bit like an M. It's just not quite as big, and it's an N. Look at that. Big M, little N, cursive N. There is a nickel and a nut and a nut cracker, and a needle, and there's up oh, a nail, and a nest, and a napkin. All of those start with an N. All right, let's start, let's see now. Help me fill it in now. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. That's another one. And the next one is an O. What starts with O? There's the big O and the little O and the cursive O. What starts with O? What is that? That's an owl. You got an owl. And some overall. Now that owl is wearing overalls, looking at a what? A orange. An owl and overalls and orange. So the next letter is what? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. Yes, it's a P. What starts with a P? There's the big P, and the little P, and the cursive P. Well, parrot starts with P, and pan starts with P, and pig starts with a P. Uh-oh, policeman starts with a P, and pony starts with a P. Pale starts with a P, and plum, and peach, and pear. Ooh, them some sweet veg or sweet fruits right there. Is a plum and a peach and a pear by the policeman. Okay, let's see now. A B C D E F G H I 
J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. That's right. Q is the next letter. There's a capital and a small Q and a cursive Q. What starts with a Q? Well, there's the queen who starts with a Q. And there's a quilt who starts with a Q. And there's a quail that starts with a Q. And you've got several things that start with Q, but tell you what, when it's cold at night, a quilt will keep you warm. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. That's right, R, big R, little R, cursive R. What starts with R? Well, there's a rake, and there's a, what is that? Oh, a robin, and there's a ring, and there's a raccoon, there's a rattle, and up, oh, what is that? That is a rabbit, and a rooster, and a raven on a raft. All of those things start with R. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S. S is the next one. Big S, little S, cursive S. There's a spider. Whoo, I don't like spiders. There's a squirrel with a spoon on a sofa. They're sitting there, and a seal and a sheep are on the sofa with the squirrel and the spoon while there's a snake and shrimp and seahorse on the floor. Boy, there's a lot of stuff in there that starts with an S, isn't there? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. Big T, little T, cursive T. What starts with T? There's a turtle and a telephone on a table by a tiger on a tricycle with a train and a top and a truck. And those toys are there. All of those start with a T. All right. Uh-oh. We're getting to the end of the book. I've only got a couple more pages left, so we must be getting to the end of the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U. The next letter is U. Not U, the letter U. There's the big U and the little U and the cursive U. What starts with U? Well, there's underwear. <laughs> There's underwear, and there's umbrella. You got an underwear on an umbrella in the wind blowing, so that's what starts with the U. What's next? You saw it over there. It's like not a U, but it's a V. V is a U with an attitude. Big V, little V, cursive V. What starts with a V? Well, there's violets. Violets are pretty little flowers, and there's a veil that goes on pretty little girls, and there's a violin, and there's a valentine, and a vase. You know, y'all did valentines a while back. I remember that. I remember y'all had boxes and put valentines in there. That was pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Help me out now. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W. That is right. W, big W, and a little W, and a cursive W. What starts with a W? Well, there's a wolf and a walrus in a wagon by a watermelon and a wheelbarrow and a wheel on the wagon and 
the worm. They all start <clears throat> with W. Okay, so the next letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X. There it is, X. <clears throat> now, there's a lot of not, not a lot of words that start with an X, but if you need it, there it is. There's a big X and a little X and a cursive X. What is that right there? That is a, well, it's a yak, which starts with a Y, but why he's up there, I do not know. But there's a xylophone that starts with X. And have you ever broken anything? Like your arm or your leg? I have broken my leg several times, broke my arms, and when you go to the doctor, they take this camera and they shine it down on your leg, and it can look inside your arm or look inside your leg, and it can tell them whether it's broken. You know what to call that? That's right. It's an X-ray. And so X-ray starts with X. So you got X, you got xylophone, you got Y, you got a yak. That is a yak and yarn. So there's one more letter. This poor letter always comes at the end. This poor letter is always at the end. It's always last. And we're sad about this letter being last. Do y'all know what it is? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Z is the last letter. Big Z, little Z, cursive Z. And what starts with the Z? Zoo. A zoo. Look at all them animals in the zoo. Also, you can zoom. You can zoom to the zoo. Zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom zoo. Out to the zoom zoo. That's the letters of the alphabet. Well, guys, it's been good to be with y'all today. We stayed a long time today. So I got to turn this off and turn my phone ringer back on and get back busy doing whatever it is I do. Put my hair down there. There we go. But it's good to be with y'all. I'm glad we're back together, and I look forward to seeing you next week. I hope y'all have a great weekend. Stay safe. We love you, and I will talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>